Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming thesis NQT or Accenture exam. If you are looking for recent questions of these companies and also finding for all previous year questions, then this channel is best for you. So today we will discuss a coding question which was asked recently and happily the question was asked in TCS as well as well as in Accenture. So let's see. But before we proceed to the questions, I would recommend you to have the TCS NQT Prime materials in which you will have all the recent coding questions as well as previous year questions and the mock tests as well. So to get that, knock me at my Insta ID, instagram.com slash techno.tvf. So let's see what's the question is. So the question is regarding given two strings text and pattern, find the first occurrence of str1 inside str2. If found, then print its index. If not found, then print minus one, right? So here is the sample example, sample input. So str1 is like if take you forward and str2 is forward, then forward is present from the index of five, right? So zero, one, two, three, four, five. So your output should be five, right? So let's see the second example that is str1 is hello and str2 is az but az is not present inside str1 so our output should be minus 1 right let's say you have an input like uh, hello i am here and again hello okay and your str2 is hello okay so what should be your output there is two occurrence of hello right right so multiple if multiple occurrence of any word then your output should be the first occurrence index right so here hello is present at the zeroth index from the zeroth index right so your output should be zero in this case right so i hope you understood what the task is so if you understood then please start solving the problem and give the answer in the comment section and please if you can then please give the answer in the java and python both as well okay so let's go to the solution part okay so there can be a multiple way to solve the problem so i can as as, as far as i can guess so the problem can be solved using two for loops like i'm uh i'm iterating through all the uh, letters all the characters of first string and then i'm running a second for loop nested for loop in which i'm iterating through all the characters of the str2 right and then checking if str1 uh, ith index is not equal to str2 uh, j index then we will break that loop and we will keep iterating uh, this way and we will check if this is equal or not then we will return that index right so this way we can solve the problem and there is also a method in java that is index of using that we can also solve this problem right so this is a string function so we we can have uh we can we can use that function right so there is no limitation to use this okay so let's go to use that index of method and solve this problem so at first create the main class and main method then we'll take the input from the user okay so let's create the scanner class object so scanner sc is equal to new scanner and if you want the solution in Java, python then let me know in the comment section i will give you okay so system dot in so as i'm using scanner class so i have to import the scanner class java dot util dot u scanner or star okay so now take the input let's say string s is equal to s1 is equal to uh let's say sc dot next line and sorry and string s2 is equal to sc dot next line okay so this way we just we just have taken the input let's say uh hello world okay and your output let's say your second input is world okay and there can be okay so there is a method called index of so this is a string function right so let's say uh, s1 dot index of okay index of s2 so this is the pattern which you have to uh, you have to match so in which an index this is present okay so index of is matching if 
this S2 is present inside S1 or not. That means S2 is the uh, pattern which we need to check if this is present inside S1. So this is the method which is helping to find if S2 substring is present inside S1 string or not. Okay. So this is returning an integer. So that's why we have to store this inside and uh, inside an integer variable integer integer index okay is equal to this okay so now just print this this will be fine i think so print what index okay so let's see if this giving this is giving right output or not so let me run it so first input let's say hello world and the pattern is world so output should be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay output 6 and as expected right okay let's uh take another input let's say uh hello and your pattern is as it okay so output should be minus 1 let's as expected right so uh let's take third input in which the multiple occurrence are there right so hello world hello again so your pattern if it is hello then your output should be zero right as expected so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes are used in java so in python as well there is a method of string by which you can find the index of pattern right inside a substring inside a string so you can use that uh, so if you love this session then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding Accenture or TCS. And if you want the prime materials in which I have included all the recent questions, all the coding questions, all the mock tests. So please knock me at my Insta ID, Instagram.com slash I will provide you, right? So thank you for today's session.